Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is, our, today is our lesson number. Today is our lesson number 56. Today we're going to continue the topic that we started two or three days ago, which is which is how to multiply and divide decimals. Let's take a look at the first problem we have today. How to multiply and divide. Decimals. Here's the first problem. How much is 7.3 times 6.5? Multiplying 7.3 times 6.5 is no different than multiplying 73 by 65. No different at all. We'll take care of the decimals at the end. 5 3 is a 15, 5 carry 1, 7 5 is a 35, 35 plus 1 is 36. So that takes care of that part. Now let's multiply it by 6. 6 3 is a 18. 8, carry 1 again, 6 7s are, 6 7s are 42, 42 plus 1 is 43. You have to know your times table, we learned those times tables in the beginning of the series, on day number 1 through 12, you have to know your, all your times tables from 1 through 12 by heart. That's it, we are done. Here we get a 5, 6 plus 8 is 14, 4, carry 1, we get a 7 and a 4. What do we do now? Well, we, now we go back and insert our decimal. Here we have 7.3, not 73. So we insert our decimal, and we have 6.5. Here we have one decimal place, here we have another decimal place. We need to move our final decimal place by two spots. Final decimal, the final, final decimal place, final decimal lies here. Final decimal rests here. We have to move it two places. One and two. 47.45 is the answer. Which should not be a big surprise to us, because we could clearly see the 7, 6, or 42. 7, 6 is 42, and we don't have a 7, we have 7.3. We don't have a 6, we have 6.5. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more than 42. It's 47.45. The answer is 47.45. Let's do one more. Let's do the next one. Problem number 2. Question number 2, as it appeared in the exam, simply said... Divide 0 0.03 into 0 0.072. Divide 0 0.03 into 0 0.072. What the hell does it mean? What does it mean? Well, let's find out, shall we? We're going to find out by making up a simple example. By making up a simple example. If somebody were to, if somebody were to ask us to divide... Divide 3 into 3 into 66. Now what does it mean to divide 3 into 66? This, this statement here, divide 3 into 66 means, this means, this means, how many, how many threes does 66 have. That's what it means. How many threes does 66 have? And how are we going to find that? How are we going to find how many threes does 66 have? By dividing 66 by 3. And it turns out 66 has 22 threes. 66 is made up of 22 threes. If you were to sit there and add 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, and you do that 22 times, you're going to end up with 66. 66 is 22 threes are 66. That's exactly what we have to do here. So here the question is, divide 0 0.02 into 0 0.03 into 0 0.072. This means how many, how many 0 0.03s does 0 0.072 have? In other words, we're going to do the same as before. We're going to take our point 0 0.072 and we need to divide it by point 0 0.03. Let's do it together, shall we? I want you to do it. I want you to do this problem now. Now that you understand what, what is being asked here, I want you to do it yourself first on your own. Pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then you, you and I will do it together, okay? But don't touch the calculator. That's not the point. Let's do it on the top. 
divide 0 0 0.03 into 72 means 0 0.072 divided by 0 0.03. Point zero seven two can be written as seventy two over one thousand. That's what that is. Divided by point zero three, which is same as three over one hundred. Now, what do we know? We know that when we have one fraction which is being divided by another fraction, we have to take the first fraction, seventy two over one thousand, and multiply it, multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction, first fraction, uh, reciprocal of the second fraction. The second fraction was 3 over 100, 3 over 100 becomes 100 over 3. We see 100 on the top, we see 1000 on the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 100. If we divide top and bottom by 100, the 100 is going to get knocked out and we now knock out those zeros. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. How do we know? How do you know? How do we know that 72 is divisible by 3? 72, 72 must be divisible by 3 because 72 is made up of 7 and a 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. And since the sum of the digits, since the sum of the digits, SUM sum, since the sum of the digits of 72 is divisible by 3, 72 must be divisible by 3. Let's do it here. Let's find out how many 3's the 72 have. How many 3's the 7 have? 7 has, 7 has 2 3's. The remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. And 12 has 4 3's. So 72 divided by 3 is going to be 24. That's going to knock out 3. 7 has 2 3's. The remaining one goes and joins 2 becomes 12. And 12 has 4 3's. So, so far we have 24 over 10. Or oh, we can go more. Or we can just leave it here. We can leave it here. The final answer is 24 over 10. Let's leave it here. I was going to go one more round with the 2. But there is no need for it. There is no need for it because since we are dealing with multiplying and dividing decimal in the real exam, the answer choices are going to be laid out to you, in, the answer choices are going to be laid out in front of you in decimals. If you stop right here, it will be easier. 24 divided by 10, we know, is 2.4. And that's our final answer. 2.4 is the answer to correct answer. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. The next question simply says, simplify, simplify the expression 0.4 times 0.16. This is a very straightforward, very simple problem. Very straightforward and very simple problem because Instead of doing 0.4 times 0.16, what we do first is 4 times 16, and 4 times 16 we know is 64. And now we do insert our decimal. We have 0.4, so we have one decimal place here, is 0.16, so we have two decimal places here, we have two decimal places here, we have one decimal place here. In other words, we have to take our decimal point here and move it three places. One, two, and three. It's going to end up here. So we need to put a zero here. The final answer is 0 0.064. Final answer is 0 0.064. 0 0.064. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Same exact deal. Simplify the expression. It says 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.0. Three. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. It's a very straightforward problem. Point six. Point six can be written as six over ten divided by point zero three can be written as three over one hundred, which is same as six over ten times one hundred over three. Divide top and bottom by ten. Ten drops out and we knock out one zero. Divide top and bottom by 3, 3 drops out and 6 becomes 2. We end up with 2 times 10, which is 20. Final answer is 20. Let's do one more. Again, same exact thing. Simplify the expression. And the expression this time is, you do it yourself. 
point zero zero seven divided by point six three. Do it yourself, okay? Pause the video and do it yourself. It's a good idea. Point zero zero seven. It has three decimal places here. One, two, and three, which means the same as seven divided by one, two, three. So one thousand divided by point six three, which is point six three, which is same as sixty three over one hundred. Which means we have seven over one thousand times the division becomes multiplication. We can multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. 63 over 100 is going to become 100 over 63. 100 over 63. We see 100 on the top, we see 1000 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. The 100 is going to get knocked out and there, there goes up to zeros. We see 7 on the top, we see 63 at the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 7. That's going to knock out the 7 and 63 is going to become 9 because 9 sevens are 63. How do we know that 9 sevens are 63? Because had we had 10 sevens, 10 sevens I know are 70. 10 sevens are 70. If you were to take away 1 seven from 70, that's 63. 9 sevens are 63. So what do we end up with? On the top we have 1, on the top we have 1 times 1, 1 times 1, that's just 1. On the bottom we end up with 10 times 9. 10 times 9, we end up with 190th. 190th is the final answer. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.